Hello again. You know, we live in a fairly critical world. In fact, uh, you know, we, we often make a lot of decisions on, about people and on their decisions based on very little information of our own. Sometimes we're just going with the flow. And you know, social media is a good example of this. With the rise of social media, each and every one of us have been given our personal audience that hangs on every word, or so we suppose. So a lot of times we take the opportunity to be very, very vocally critical of folks in, in social media with very little risk to us and uh, very, very little chance of anybody asking us on what we're basing our conclusions. So that makes you feel really powerful and really strong. But wow, that's a really destructive emotion and that's a really you know, destructive way to look at the world. And unfortunately, all too often we carry that sense of criticism over into the workplace. You know what criticism does to teams? Uh, if it's not constructive, it will absolutely destroy a team. So listen, uh, if you're a leader today, and, and uh, believe it or not, all of you have a potential to be a leader out there. If you're a leader, I would encourage you to remember these words from the old non-commissioned officer creed that the Marine Corps once used. I will strive to be patient, understanding, just, and firm. I will commend the deserving and encourage the wayward. You know, that last part's important because often the difference between the deserving and the wayward is that little word encouragement. So today, as we start to head back to work, you know, and get past the COVID crisis, I would encourage you to try to be a different sort of leader, one that lifts and uplifts and encourages instead of, tear, uh, you know, tearing down folks. And I think you'll see it's going to make a big difference where you're at. Hey, I hope this helped. Talk to you around a bend.